love to be a fly on the wall with you. <laughs> now, there was a time when all new houses were built of bricks and mortar, but not anymore. So how about one made of old toothbrushes or videotapes? Why not? Well, those are some of the materials which may find their way into an experimental building in Brighton. Now, the project aims to make good use of the stuff we normally chuck out and create a cutting-edge house in the process. Malcolm Shaw has been finding out more. Tucked away behind the University of Brighton, a grand design is getting off the ground. The plan is to create something rather special from the stuff we throw away. This will be the first house in Britain made entirely from waste materials. And the way we've designed the house is we've created boxes that we can literally fill full of this waste. And this is the really inconvenient waste that people don't know what to do with. It ends up being burnt or ending up floating up in the ocean. So we literally got boxes in the wall that we'll fill full of toothbrushes, video uh, tapes, whatever else we can get our hands on. And this stuff, it's all lightweight and basically it will be some of our, the insulation for the house. The project is inspired by the house that Kevin built. Four years ago, the presenter of Channel 4's Grand Designs knocked up an eco-friendly home in just six days. He says traditional building methods are environmentally damaging and hugely wasteful. When we build houses, we tend to throw away, or rather the constructors tend to throw away, around 20%, one-fifth of everything they use. So for every five houses built, one gets trashed. Lending a hand and lending support today was the country's only Green Party MP, Caroline Lucas. She believes recycled buildings could be the shape of things to come. The cost of, of, of building materials is going up all the time. So if we can demonstrate that you know, building firms can make good economic sense from doing this as well as the environmental impacts, then I think it's, it's absolutely the way forward. Local builders are joining forces with apprentices, students and school children on the project, all learning how to move away from bricks and mortar. This process is going towards testing that theory to see if we can, in actual fact, make use of what we waste. The university says the project underlines its commitment to halve its carbon emissions by 2015. When it's finished, the waste house should be one of the most energy efficient in the country. And all that from a load of old rubbish. Malcolm Shaw in Brighton for Meridian Tonight. Wonderful, a house made of rubbish. No rubbish at all, though, with Sarah Gorman, the sport. And in football,